Hi, let's do some math for fun. And today, let's go over some factorings. I will show you guys how to use the tic tac toe methods to factor out these trinomials. Let's begin with question number one. So for number one, I have x squared plus 13x plus 30. I will begin by drawing the tic tac toe grids as follows. So draw it like this. As you can see that the x squared is in the first box, the positive 13x is in the second, and the positive 30 is in the third. And then we are going to ask ourselves, what times what will be x squared? Well, x times x will be x squared. And now we have to break down 30. What times what will be 30? We can do uh, 5 times 6, uh, 3 times 10, 2 times 15, right? We have a couple combinations that we can use for 30. Let's try with 5 and 6 for now. So I will just put down my guess for now, 5 and 6. And then I want to see if this is the, uh, the correct combination or not. By doing this, I will take the x and cross multiply with the 6. x times the 6. That, give me, that gives me um, 6x. And then I will take this x, multiply it with this 5. So again, it's cross multiplying with that 5 right here. 5 times x is just 5x. Then we will have to check 6x plus 5x is what? It's 11x. Unfortunately, this is not what we were looking for. We need to produce a positive 13x. Here we have 11x. So this is the incorrect combination. Okay? But it's okay. Uh, don't give up. Let's try another combination. So uh, let me do this again. x squared plus 13x plus 30. I will draw the tic tac toe box first. To get x squared, I have to have x and x. And 30, let's try with 10 and 3. And then we are going to cross multiply. Take this x, multiply with this 3 right here, that I get 3x. And I will take this x, multiply with that 10. And 10 times x is just 10x. 3x plus 10x is exactly 13x. And a 13x, 13x is exactly what we have in the middle. Then we found the correct combinations. And to put on the answer, to write the answer, we are going to read this across. The x right here, the first parenthesis will be x plus 10. The second parenthesis will be x plus 3. So I'll put the answers right here. So to factor this out, you will be x plus x plus 10 times x times uh, x plus 3. X plus 3. Like that. Okay. Number 2. Let's do number 2. As you can see that to do factorings, we just kind of have to always guess and check. And sometimes that we may not pick the right combinations at the first place, right? Um, we just have to check possibly all the combinations. And sometimes actually a uh, trinomial is not factorable, okay? But to, to demonstrate this um, method, all these, all these questions are factorable. I just want to show you guys how to use the tic tac toe box um, to set out the questions and to do the factorings. Okay, y squared minus 3y minus 40 for the second question. And then I will start off by drawing the tic tac toe box as this. y squared in the first, negative 3y in the second, and the negative 40 in the third. Let's look at y squared. We need to have y and y in order to have a product of y squared. And then to produce negative 40, uh, we need to think about two, fun, uh, two numbers, they multiply to be negative 40. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Let me put on 5 and 8 first. But since I want negative 40, one of these numbers should be negative. Okay? I will put negative 8 right here. And then we will do a check. I will take this y right here and cross multiply with the 8 right here. Okay? So negative 8, sorry this is negative 8 times y is negative 8y. And now we'll take this y multiply with that 5. And that's 5y. And then as we can see, negative 8y plus 5y is exactly negative 3y. That's exactly what we have in the middle. So for the answer, it will be y plus 5 times y minus 8. y plus 5. 
right? The first parenthesis will be just the uh, uh, the second row y and the five, and then the second parenthesis will be y and the negative eight. So y minus eight, just like that. Okay, let's continue with number three. I have p squared minus seven p minus sixty. So let's begin by drawing the tic tac toe box. To get p squared, that's uh, just p and p, right? p times p is equal to p to the second power. And then to get negative 60, uh, again, we will have a few combinations. Uh, 30 times 2 is 60, uh, 2 times 30 is 60, things like that. And again, let me just try with maybe 10 and 6, okay? So 10 and 6. Well, I need to get negative 60, so one of these should be negative. Let me put a negative to the 10. Let's see if this is the correct combination by doing this. Take this p, cross multiply with the 6, and that will be 6p. And I'll take this p, multiply with not negative 10. So we will get negative 10p. Well, if we look at 6p and negative 10p, this is negative 4p, right? And negative 4p is not what we have in the middle originally. So this is the incorrect combinations. Let's try another one. p squared minus 7p minus 60. So draw the tic-tac-toe box. Let's try another one with... Um, let's try another combination of negative 60. First, I need to put on the p and p. And for negative 60, I know 12 times 5 is equal to 60. And I want to make the 12 negative, okay? And then as we can see that if we take p times 5, we get 5p, right? And then we, if we take this p multiply with that negative 12, we will get negative 12p. And then positive 5p minus 12p, this is negative 7p. And that's what we want in the middle, right? So for the answer for number three is p minus 12 times p plus five. So p minus 12 times p plus five. And that's the fighting for that. Okay, now uh, number four. Here we have x squared minus 18xy plus 56y squared. So let's draw the tic-tac-toe box. So for the first part, I need to have x and x that will produce the x squared. And then we are going to look at how can we break down 56. Okay, We need to have a positive 56y squared. Um, we need to have y and y right here for sure to get the y squared. And then what are the two numbers that will produce 56? So 7 and 8 will be 56, right? So let me put 7 times 8. Uh, I need to produce a positive 56, and positive 7 times positive 8 will give me positive 56. However, in the middle, I need to produce negative number. So I should have made these two numbers both negative. Negative 7 times negative 8 is still positive 56. And then let's see. Take the x, cross multiply with negative 8y. That will be negative 8xy. And then take the x, multiply with negative 7y. Let's see what we get. That will be just negative 7xy. And if we combine like terms in the middle, negative 8xy minus 7xy is negative 15xy. We are kind of close, but not exactly the same. So, this is the incorrect combination, an incorrect combination. Well, let's try another combination. x squared minus 18xy plus 56y squared. So, draw the tic-tac-toe box like this. I need to have the x and x right here. And then to get 56y squared, put the y, y first. Well, 4 times 14, it's also 56. And we need to produce some negative numbers right here in the middle. I will make both of this negative. And then let's see. x times negative 14y is negative 14xy. And then x times negative 4y is negative 4xy. 
So if we combine like terms in the middle, negative 14xy minus 4xy is exactly negative 18xy. That's exactly what we need in the middle. So the answer is y, sorry, the answer is x minus 4y times x minus 14y. So let me put the answer right here. x minus 4y times x minus 14y. For the answer. 